Hello guys and welcome back to my coding channel. Today we're gonna talk about whether you should learn programming by reading books or whether you should learn programming by doing online tutorials on YouTube or some other uh, place like Treehouse or Pluralsight. So tutorials are really popular nowadays, but are they really effective for you? Let's talk about it. I think that both the book and the tutorials are awesome, but for different people in different circumstances. Uh, I think that the book is really, really good for new new beginners, new to new coders that have very little or zero knowledge in programming. And that is because the book will give you exercises. So in my case, I, uh, I started programming when I was nine and uh, my mother got me this book. It's actually the, my first ever programming book. And it's called Object-Oriented Programming in C++. And the way I taught myself how to program C++ was by reading this book and doing all of the exercises. And I think that the exercises gave me the most knowledge and gave me a really, really good foundation. Because I think in order to learn something, you need to code, you need to do small projects. And when you're starting out and you have zero knowledge, the book will give you perfect exercises for your knowledge level. And you, after each cha chapter, you will do uh, small projects, small exercises, where you will use the knowledge from this past chapter. And you will develop this amazing uh, foundation. That's what I did. I read this book and I knew everything about classes, arrays, inheritance, uh, generics, all of that. And by having this foundation, I could go online and watch, uh, for example, the new Boston, the classic uh, programming channel. And I could learn JavaScript and take JavaScript knowledge from new Boston and put it on top of my C++ foundation. Because, because I knew so much from C++ and had a really good foundation, it was no problem for me at all, guys taking Java and putting it on top of my foundation and then taking C sharp and putting it on top of my foundation and PHP and JavaScript. And then you just continue and go on and learn and learn new, new languages and frameworks. But without this foundation, it will be really, really challenging for you. I think if you go to YouTube and you just find a random playlist on, for example, C++, it could even be the New Boston's playlist. I mean, I love New Boston. New Boston. I learned a ton from New Boston, so I really appreciate his channel. However, I don't think it would be a good idea for you to go to his channel if you're completely new, because you need exercises. You need someone to give you perfectly adjusted exercises for your knowledge in order for the knowledge to stick in your brain. If you just follow a YouTube series on any programming language and you don't have any prior knowledge, I'm not sure the knowledge will stick. Honestly, I'm not sure the knowledge will stick in your brain. And I think you will just be uh, a bit confused because you will not fully understand. And uh, so you might watch all of the C++ videos and you kind of know a bit, but not really. And then you go to Java and you kind of know a bit, but not really. So you're just coming out confused. And that is because you didn't have a good foundation, guys. So step number one, I would say to get a good foundation and you need to do small projects in order to learn this, to get this foundation. And a book is a perfect way to to do the projects and the projects will be the exercises that the book will give you. However, guys, if you would find some kind of online resource, um, uh, for example, maybe Treehouse, but uh, I'm not sure Treehouse gives that good exercises. I've tried Treehouse in, in the past couple of years and I don't think they give um, uh, good enough and challenging enough exercises. So, but if you would find somewhere, some resource that would give you good exercises online, then sure, of course. But I think buying a book is a proven way to get a foundation. And once you have a foundation, then I think uh, the, chan the YouTube channels and the YouTube tutorials are the way to go. I mean, today, if, if say that I know JavaScript and I wanna learn React, there is no reason for me to buy a book on React I can just go online 
and find tutorials on React. And uh, in, in that case, I think the online tutorials are the way to go because you don't need to do a lot of exercises. Uh, I mean, because you have enough knowledge to take this uh, React um, uh, knowledge that you will get from the tutorial and apply it in your own project. So you, you will immediately learn by applying it in your own project. However, when you're just starting out and you get knowledge from a YouTube channel, you, you don't have a good foundation in order to take that knowledge and apply it in the real world. And you get an awesome application from the book. You can apply it on the exercises. And that is the way to learn programming, in my, in my opinion, guys. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? When, if you know how to program, did you learn by reading books <coughs> or by following tutorials? And what do you think is the way to go? The book or the tutorial? And if you're completely new to this channel, guys, you should subscribe if you like technology, if you are a coder, if you're interested in tech news and everything tech related, basically. Uh, I, I myself am a coder. I've been coding for the past 11 years. So I think this channel will be really, really interesting for you. And I post video videos every day. That's it, guys. See you tomorrow.